Yo, what's going on guys? d is back with a new tutorial and in today's tutorial we're going to make this like you guys see this helmet transition effect or card whatever you want I did this effect in the Avengers montage and most people like it and uh, before that I did it in my evolution montage as well I want to recreate the Fortnite stage animation it looks more like the Thanos snap effect but you guys know what I mean you can do this effect in different things but in today's tutorial we're going to use it on the helmet because it looks way more cool so before this tutorial starts I just want to note that this is not a beginner's friend tutorial if you want a beginner's friendly tutorial you can watch my previous tutorial to know the basics because in this tutorial i want to cover the basics this is a little bit complicated so i want you guys to focus with me on what i'm doing so i already have a scene right here i already have a wall some lights and camera of course i will just hide them for right now and i will go right here and as you can guys see i already animated his hand so that like he touched the helmet and the transition will start from the moment that he touched the helmet. So you can guys animate it yourself. You can just go here in the pause mode and just like move his hand and animate it so that he will touch the helmet. And uh, after you guys do that, you guys want to click on the helmet. And as you can see right now the helmet is attached to the hair. So we want to separate it. Just go to the edit mode and L on the hair and P and selection just like the pet tutorial and now we only have the helmet by itself so after you guys have the helmet alone go into edit mode again and press A on your keyboard so that you have everything selected and go right here to this thing and click on this plus button right here and click assign then get back to the object mode and you want to go right here to this Thing. click on add modifier and you want to add vertex weight proximity after you add this here on the vertex group you want to select the group that you just made and in the target object we won't need to add an object so click shift a mesh and then iposphere now we have this iposphere as you can see but we want to see show it so in case you do that click on this right here viewport display then the texture change it to wire now after you have it right here, I want to position it in the helmet and scale it down a bit so that it's like the same size as the helmet, just like that. Alright, now click on the helmet again, let's move this right here and click on the helmet again, go back right here and in the object we want to select this icosphere that we just add. Now we want to change this box emission mode from object to geometry and this geometry I think from vertex to edge. Alright, now we want to change this value right here. I'll just put this 0 0.1 and this 0 0.1 as well. Now, what does this thing do? If we go right here to the weight paint, you guys can see it's all blue right here. But if we move this thing right here close to the helmet and go to the weight paint again, as you guys can see, it starts affecting the helmet. Now, it doesn't make any sense right now, but it will make sense soon. Go right back to the helmet and you want to add another modifier called Wi-Fi. Alright, now as you can see, let's change the thickness a bit. Let's go like 0 0.04, I guess. Okay, this looks cool. And in this vertex group, you want to select the group that we made. Now it goes, but if we move this, as you guys can see, it's affecting it. You see, but it doesn't affect it well. So let's select this icon right here and click R, then X then 90 so that we rotate it 90 degrees in the x-axis and go to the edit mode and you guys want to delete the half of it that's like selected then x and vertex so we only have the one half and now if we move it as you guys can see it affected very well okay let's put it in a position that looks good just like in the middle right here all right now as you guys can see, alright, now this is cool. You want to select this wireframes again and you want to duplicate it by clicking Shift and D. Now, after you duplicate it, you want to remove the wireframe modifier so that we get back to the full helmet. And to control the helmet, we want to add another modifier called Mask. And in the vertex group, you guys want to select the group that we made. Alright, now if you guys can see, when I move this, as you guys can see. It's like a pair 
and disappear. But we don't want that. We want to, the helmet to be full helmet at the beginning and when he touch his helmet it start disappearing. So in case to do that we want to change these values right here. I will put 0.9 in the first and 1 in the highest. Now if we move this as you guys can see it's like full helmet and it goes but as you guys can see this wireframe effect is delayed so in case to make them both happen at the same time we want to duplicate this icosphere right here let's move it closer pitch and we want to select the wireframe and change the icosphere to the second one just like that now as you guys can see this icosphere controls the wireframe and this one controls the helmet so we want to make the helmet full right here and Let's go to the frame when he touch his helmet right here, I guess. And let's add a keyframe in the location for this. And now let's use this. All right, let's put it right here and add another keyframe for location. Now select both the icospheres, then Control P and Object, so that when you move it, they both move at the same time. So we don't want that to appear right now. So we want to move it back a bit right here and another eye location. And now we want to move like a couple frames forward. I will just give it a whole second, I guess. And we want to move it forward just like that. And add another keyframe. So now if we play it back, let's hide those, if we play it, look what should happen. You guys see, he click his helmet and then it starts disappearing. Now let's get to the camera view and let's add the wall and lights and everything back and let's see how it looks. As you guys can see, it looks way bad. So in case to fix it, you want to click this wireframe right here and go right here to this circle material property and you want to select the helmet texture and remove it add new texture instead change it from principled psdf to an emission now in the emission you want to get sent up a bit i will give it like 15 and you want to change the color of it like to a more bluish color i guess okay i guess this is cool and before you end it make sure to go and select the icosphere that we have and go right here to the object tab and in visibility make sure to uncheck enders and do the same with the other icosphere uncheck enders so now you can end it without having the icosphere right here on top of the, the helmet so just like that right now i want to put a folder where it will be ended i'll just make a new folder in my desktop called tutorial put it there png the compression zero and the color depth is 16 and then there then and the animation and yeah just like that guys you will have the helmet transition effect this tutorial is very quick but it's a little bit more complicated it needs more focus to get it done feel free to watch it twice if you don't get it from the first time and and enjoy making your helmet changes and i really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial i really hope that you guys learn something from it if you guys want any other tutorial just feel free to post them in the comments below and i'll try my best to make them this is it guys drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already and see you guys in the next one peace